Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. And in the last episode, guys, we started Herbology class. Patience as much as water and sunlight. We got to meet uh, Professor Garlic. We de dealt with the Screaming Mandrakes. And now we need to meet Leander Pruitt about, I believe it was called a Chinese chopping now remember, something or other. Is not a trowel. So let's see. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Oh. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. My cabbages! Let's see. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have, if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Mm -hmm. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. Beg your pardon? Uh, no offense. Sorry. <laughs> I was about to say, I was like, I could go find a dragon skull to drop on your head. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Guess those are them. Ooh. Go on. Grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. I almost lost a thumb once. Don't worry. No. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it. And they'll do the rest. Toss the cabbages? Hold L1 and tap R. Uh. Oh. And the venomous. Ah, uh, cool. All right. So L1. Look at that. They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Ooh. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. <laughs> Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. You were? I mean, of course, you're uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants, too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. All right, we'll see you, Leander. Oh, I thought the thing was about to attack me. So it does not attack me if I'm up close? Let's grab more of these. I don't know what the max is, but... Is there... No, we came up there. Talking trash about Slytherin in front of a Slytherin. Not the brightest... Uh, brightest bulb out there. And not in the botany sense. That helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. You didn't need those fingers anyway. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. And she must have become a professor, like, right after graduating. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. To make anything grow, we must first understand it. That goes for plants as well as friendships. 
Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse as in the Great Hall. Oh, I like that. You sip your tea there, Professor. Okay, now what? Um, let's go to quests. Potions class. All about that. Last name is Shiver Wretch, after all. About potion and venom. So, botany class and potion should be a specialty. Um, how far is it? I think we have the flu flame location. Yep, here we go. Potions classroom. This is where all that exploring paid off. I would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. Uh, you guys actually let me know. I think Vosseros did that. Um, Professor Black is considered to be the worst headmaster that Hogwarts ever had. I guess at least until Dolores Umbridge. I don't know if she ever ha actually had the headmaster title, but still. Oh, look at this. So this is the Professor Sharp. This is the guy that we ran into in Fig's classroom, who actually knows about the goblins. Walks with a limp. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. I like this actor. Or whoever they the 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 facial facial uh, capture and everything was on Use point. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Okay. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Stir again. So this guy used to be an Auror. Like uh, Mad-Eye Moody was. Basically the, the cop. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Collect Ashwinder eggs and dark mongrel fur. <laughs> okay. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Another Weasley. Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Uh -huh. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, 
anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fupa feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Yeah, no. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fupa feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. No, you can go get it yourself, man. I've enough to worry about collecting the ingredients he wants me to get. I'm afraid I can't help you. I understand. I'll sort something else out. Okay, well, at least he took it well. Remember. Alright. Whoa. Hey, we're not kidding about mongrel fur. Like a skinned werewolf. Revelio. Oh. Oh, we got a chest. Memorandum, date 31st of December, 1875, from the Auror office. Subject, Borgen and Burks. Borgen and Burks has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we're adding more Aurors to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions. Further instruction to follow. This guy's still on the clock. So he's not a former or he's active. Oh, and there's the Fooper feather. There was no way that he wouldn't know it was stolen if he if he walked in. We still have the opportunity to grab it though. <laughs> Should we? Nah, let's not. Keep your potion stations organized and free of clutter. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Potion station. Have patience and be thorough. Okay, Wickenweld potion. A potion that enhances the drinker's defense by covering them with a durable, rocky skin. And Felix. Oh, the luck potion. Enhances the drinker's chance of success in their endeavors, specifically by revealing locations of large loot chests in the minimap for one game day. Lacewing flies and fluxweed stem. I guess those were the things that Harry had to crush with the knife. Well, that's cool. Um, let's do that. Thirty seconds. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -uh. Get it! Again. Oh dear. Oh, Dragon dog. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again. Huzzah. And... There's our potion. Cool. I brewed an Edoras potion as you asked, Professor. Glad you managed to stay on task. Not every class is so eventful. I saw Mr. Weasley speaking with you earlier. He can be quite persuasive. Glad you managed to resist. Oh, he would have. You've done well today. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Well, fortunately we have this. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. So he knew what was about to happen. We were going to get caught. Need fluxweed stem. Oh, wait, what, what did that do? I didn't even read what the luck potion. 
Revealing locations of large loot chest on the mini-map for one in-game day. Oh, that's neat. What do the other ones do? Spell damage. Imperc oh, invisibility potion. Reduces spell cooldowns. And creates a storm which will stun and damage nearby en enemies. Those are lovely. Okay. Uh, collections. Do we get something new? Ingredients. Oh, just all the... All the things. And inventory. Mark all that down. And the ministry memorandum. Hmm. Wonder how that's going to come back. Well, that should go ahead and finish our business here at school. Now comes the interesting part, ladies and gentlemen, where we will go ahead and travel to the world map and head over here to Lower Hogsfield and see what this is all about. So we'll set the waypoint. It looked like there was a flu flame location. We actually get to pass by that tower, too. Oh. Okay, Hogsmeade. No, we don't need to do Hogsmeade right now. Hogwarts. Just want to try the fastest way to get out of here. Okay, it's the Bell Tower Wing. There we go. Time for a field trip. We're going to get our steps in, it looks like. But I am very curious what that is. Look at all the birds flying around it. It just looks ominous. And we'll be walking right by. Revelio. Let's keep our eyes peeled for... Guide pages. Um... I don't think I have the ability... To, wait, do I have to... Ah! That's what it was. Moonstone. I saw old RPG, I'm just like, do I need to go get a pick? Where do I, where do I go find a pick? This game is freaking gorgeous. Hello, Al. Revelio. We got leaping toadstool caps. I don't know what purpose that they're going to serve, but we will find out. Those are regular birds. Revelio. This definitely is going to be a location that we go to later, but... No scroll. Interesting. I thought that would definitely be the case. Please, let's not fall down the mountain. However, that might be a good way to get to the hospital wing. Clockwork fedora, huh? Revelio. Oh, hello there, bird. Lots of owls. Of course, that would make sense. Oh. Hogwarts Owls. School owls and owls owned by students can be found in the Hogwarts Owlery. One is advised to explore carefully, keeping an eye out for owl droppings and regurgitated mouse skeletons. That is no joke. Um, quick story time as we... Wait, there was a ladder? Yes, there was. So, um, for a long time, I worked at a place where there were, like, giant towers that you had to climb. It was a camera tower. And at the end of the season, we would basically leave these towers open. And we always 
told our bosses, hey, we need to put like chicken wire or something over these towers. They're about three, three to four stories high. And we'd have to climb them all the time. And um, R2, let's go there. And the the after that first year we were like hey we need to cover these we need to cover the these giant holes where the cameras would stick out with chicken wire or something because Rebellion. it's going to be bad and the bosses were like oh no it's fine and sure enough me and my friend Drake let's look for guide pages flying around it's where i put one um me and my friend Drake climbed up one and there were these kind of trap doors that we'd have to open from the floor. We couldn't push it open until we had to like use both of us to try and do it at the same time. And we were both on a ladder, which was very dangerous because there was no safety gear. It would have been, you know, three or four story drop, probably to our deaths. But when we got the door open, we realized that there was about six inches to a foot of just corpses. <laughs> of animal corpses. Um, a bird of prey had taken it as its nest. And I think it may have been an owl or a hawk, but it was just filled with, like, um, you know, bones and fur and just dirt and all kinds of nastiness. We were, we were not happy with that state of affairs, as you can imagine. But yeah, whenever you're dealing with a place with a lot of birds of prey, you need to be aware of that. And also keep your little critters far away, if at all possible. Kind of wondering how um, the anxiety that Ron Weasley must have had with all of these owls and birds of prey dealing with scabbers. Though, to be honest, to be honest with you, his uh, his ability to keep take care of scabbers Rebellion. didn't really serve the forces of good. No spoilers. Would have solved a lot of problems, I feel. Oh, I guess I could have just gone that way, too. Oh, well. We got to go up the tower. Of course, I took the long way. Now we get to head toward those mysterious balloons. Which I assume we probably have to do something with them. Um, that's Hagrid's hut. Oh my god. Yeah, that, yeah, that's definitely Hagrid's hut. Well, we're going. Revelio. There are things inside. Chudley and Cannon's light herbologist hat. Groundskeeper's tools. One might surmise that this set of tools could be enchanted to create all sorts of furnishings for a cozy hut, as long as large as the occupant may need. Neat. So what is down here? Is that a cave? I should investigate. Well, you heard the boy. Uh. Or clump juice. We need that for things. So I'm going to assume. Levioso. No? Uh, maybe Akio? Akio! Is that what was needed? Is that's gonna open a door? Expelliarmus! Oh wait, nope, wrong spell. It says fire! Incendio! Aha! Let's get sidetracked, shall we? Revelio. 
Lumos. Oh, all right. Revelio. Fringed crimson clockwork scarf. Just a little area to come into and get some treasure. A um a borrow. As long as it's not Hobbs borrow. I'm all right. How the heck did you get back? What is that? There are things. All right. Um. Akio. Get over here. I don't know. Oh. It resets. It teleports the stuff straight back. Each juice we're familiar with. There's a dock over here. I like to think that people ask Nat about the strange Slytherin student, and Nat's just like, oh, he he's always late. He always finds himself going off into another direction. I've learned not to take it personally. Let's hope. Revelio. Is there fishing in this game? <laughs> Akio. This is how you fish, right? You have the you have the fish come to you? I don't want to go into the water because I know what's in there. Let's just stay check over here real quick. That looks a little bit ominous. There's a waterfall. We gotta check behind the waterfall. It's the rules. No! Game, how dare you! I like the fact that you can't jump in the water. Man, well, it could be up there. But it looked like there was another... There's tinglies. I particularly like Sea of Thieves as you stay in the water for too long. Revelio. All of a sudden you'll just start hearing like a siren song and you realize, oh, I need to get out of this area immediately. Color me curious. But I feel that this is not an area we need to visit just yet. Oh wait, there's some... There's a tentacle on the wall there. Well, there's a friendly kraken, right? They talk about a friendly kraken? Sure. Why not? What could go wrong? Oh. Incendio. Lumos. Revelio. Any kind of Revelio? So this will be an area that we open at another time. Okay. Well, that's fair. So let's do this, guys. Let's go ahead and look at the south wing. And we'll flu flame ourselves back <laughs> to the castle entrance. It's like a two-step forward, one-step back kind of thing. But I know it's evening, but now we will head to uh, Lower Huxfield. <laughs> so this seems like a good place to go ahead and end the episode, guys. Um, we'll head to Hagrid's cabin here. But we're making some progress. We were able to get two classes done. Um, we did not get caught by Professor Sharp. He is a sharp one, and it makes sense. And uh, we intimidated the crap out of a Gryffindor, so I consider this to be a good day's work. But we'll see what uh, Laura Hogsfield has in store for us in the next episode. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked it, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.